Hey guys, Scott back again uh, with a new beer dissection video. Um, what I have here this evening is a beer called Generation Gap. Okay, from, uh, where was it from? Um, Idiom Brewing Company from Frederick, Maryland. Uh, it's chiming in, I'm presuming it's a New England IPA uh, that I can't, I don't need to guess. Uh, it's seven and a half percent alcohol. Uh, Maryland's probably my, <coughs> besides New York and some of the local beers and some of the big, mac, you know, the borderline macro breweries, Maryland, um, because one of my buddies lives down there, has brought some beers up from there. Um, again, Generation Gap, Idiom Brewing Company, Frederick, Maryland, and it looks like there's a bunch of different people sitting. If I can turn it here slowly, I'll take a few, a minute here just to, looks like they're sitting there on a couch with different technology or something. So a lot of these, these breweries have these little kitschy uh, um, labels now. Um, the canning date, uh, canned on May 6, 2022. So, you know, a little bit for an IPA, a little older than I would like, especially for being in the, in the East, but we'll, we'll taste. It doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Um, so New England IPA, we're expecting that it's be, being brewed with, you know, obviously a ton of hops. So the polyphenols, they're going to make it cloudy as well as sometimes they brew these New England IPAs with some oats as well as some unmalted wheat, which gives it that haze uh, that we see. So sometimes we call it hazy, juicy, because a lot of times it may be like... Uh, Tastes a little bit like um, fruit juice, sometimes orange juice, sometimes grapefruit juice. We'll see which one this one's sitting at here. Um, but Idiom Brewing Company, Idiom, um, never had a beer from them before. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to see if there was any other identifying information that may be interesting. So again, like most of my IPAs, I go with an oversized snifter, tulip glass, um, to try to promote the aromatics to the top of the glass. Um, and it says it's hopped with Nelson and Grüngeist hops. Okay, so uh, again, I've never home brewed with those, so this will be the first that I've had a beer with them be, being used. <coughs> All right, so let's crack this bad boy open. So remember, with Newman IPA, if you've watched more than a few of my videos, um, Compared to West Coast IPA, a lot of times we're gonna get, there's gonna be very strong flavor and aroma hops, or there should be, um, but the bitterness hops are, um, you know, the beginning of the boil are reduced. So the IBU units, international bitterness units, are usually lower, okay? Let's take a look at this. So we definitely got that haze, um, you know, kind of a, I almost call it like opaque, uh, you know, orange, uh, light amber to orange type of color, um, gold, I guess if you want to call it gold. So let me take a sniff of the aromatics here. Oh yeah, so we you know, we get a little, get a little mandarin orange, slight pineapple, you know, even peach. Um, I don't get the uh, grapefruit, which I was expecting to get. Okay, kind of dank. Um, but very nice. I mean, very pleasant uh, aroma. But like, kind of like I said, peach, maybe even like a little mango, uh, pineapple. But again, not, you know, not much head. I, I would have liked to see a little bit more head retention there. I've only had it open for you know, what, two minutes, three minutes. But it smells good. And it, and it actually looks reasonably fresh, even though the canning date was uh, in May of 2022. So, you know, a little, little older than I like for IPAs, at least, especially domestic ones. So cheers, guys. Pretty high car carbonation, medium to high carbonation for the style. Um, light to medium bodied. Um, 
the aftertaste is giving me, you definitely get that, um, you know, that I always call it the blank canvas. You know, you kind of get that white bread, even though there's, uh, you know, I don't know if wheat's being used here, but some kind of a wheat bread, um, maybe a light crust uh, malt profile on there. Um, but you get similar hops that I got in the aroma, that a um, little bit pineapple, orange or maybe tangerine rind, you know, mandarin rind, some type of citrus fruit rind like that. Um, you know, the aftertaste, I get a little bit of a, and I unfortunately get this sometimes, maybe it's just my taste buds on some of these IPAs, <coughs> like this vegetative type of, of, of taste. I mean, it's still very good. Um, I just kind of get this kind of old lettuce type of, of, of flavor to it, which I know it sounds a lot worse than it really is. Um, but very sharp carbonic bite to it. Really no alcoholic warmth. I mean, what did I say? We're sitting around 7%. I forget what I mentioned before <coughs> on there. Um, very nice, um, seven and a half percent. So this is kind of right in the wheelhouse. I start getting a little alcoholic warmth. Um, and as I sit here in the aftertaste, you kind of get a little bit of that, um, you know, thickness that you get. I mean, that's a tough adjective there. Um, but that car the carbonic bite is pretty strong up front, um, which I don't particularly like too much, but. But, like I said, mandarin, um, slight pineapple, things like that. So not, not bad. Um, I think it's a aging a little bit here. Um, you know, the color's still pretty good. So I'm not getting, sometimes with some of these New England IPAs, if they're a little bit older, you start seeing them get a little murky, like a brownish, but we don't have that here. Definitely better than some of these, uh, the beer hugger that I was getting from Goose Island um, type of beer. But definitely something the aftertaste that's uh, giving me that vegetative type of uh, taste, maybe from the older hops, um, which again, it's not undrinkable. It's just, I get that with some, some of these New England IPAs. Um, the bitterness, it's a moderate to pronounce bitterness. Uh, New England IPA, you know, we definitely don't want it as, you know, I should say for style, it, you know, we don't really usually look for it to be pronounced or assertive um, like you maybe get with some of your uh, West Coast IPAs. Um, but, you know, like I said, on the nose, it's very nice. Um, you know, if I was going to give it a grade, you know, good B, B plus. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. It's just, um, I know sometimes that upfront carbonic bite and if it wasn't giving me that vegetative taste in the end, it could be one of the hops. Like, I'm not familiar with the two hops. I don't recall, either unbeknownst to me, that I've had beer with those two tops on there. Um, <coughs> Nelson and Grungeist, I've never homebrewed with those two. It, that may be just a familiar flavor that I may not particularly like. So again, like I said, you know, that B, B plus range, um, typical pairings. Um, you've heard me say a lot with IPAs because I, I think of fruit, um, you know, pineapple, salsa, things like that. A lot of Mexican Spanish food, tacos, um, shrimp tacos, <coughs> things like that. I would go with fish, uh, mahi tacos, or just some white fish, maybe uh, 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 cod you know, lightly battered cod dishes, things like that. Nothing with too much malyard or um, caramelization. I, would, I wouldn't pair so much with this. Um, so again, guys, let me just pour a little bit more before I let you guys go. Um, but again, you kind of got this, you know, light gold, medium gold color, you know, kind of an opaque, cloudy, hazy, um, juicy IPA, which is kind of what New England IPA synonymously is called. 
you know, maybe even add a little white grape in there that we get. But, you know, kind of that, you know, pineapple, really no mango, no grapefruit. Um, but it, actually, as, I, as I'm taking it in, when I do a little bit longer sniffs, I get a little more pineapple. But again, classic um, New England IPA here. Um, very good. I mean, you know, even though I'm not giving it an A range, it, it, you know, it's definitely enjoyable if you have this down and you're in the um, Frederick, Maryland area. <coughs> um, Idiom Brewing Company. Uh, again, this is the first beer I've ever had from them. New England IPA, 7.5%. Like I said, Nelson Grungeist hops. Um, and it's called Generational Gap. New England IPA. Um, so again, something that I would I would definitely try other beers from them. Compared compared to the Goose Island um, Beer Hug IPA pack um, variety twelve pack that I got, this is a lot better than that. Um, but like I said, I um, you know I would try these, and you know definitely when you're comparing it to other New England IPAs, because that seems to be the big beer over the last five years, everyone's gravitating to England IPA because it doesn't have the same bitterness. Um, and like I said, this even just has basic general moderate bitterness to it. Um, but again, I, I'm still getting that vegetative thing on the aftertaste, which could be a little bit of the age. Um, you know, with IPAs, especially New England IPAs that are heavy with the flavor and aroma hops, you want to start really drinking these within the first couple of months. Um, so May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, we're almost into February. So we're almost looking at like nine months, say eight months. Um, so a little bit more age. So, I mean, I don't get classic oxidative flavors, um, you know, like papery and I don't, I don't taste any uh, malt shift or anything with this. The color is still pretty good. It's still kind of got that, you know, light gold color that I don't see any type of, uh, and again, the aroma I think is a lot better than, than the flavor of the hops here, but you know, pretty standard baseline malt profile. Again, this is going to be a hop dominant beer. So, you know, we're not looking for, you know, malt dominant flavors. Um, so in that guys, you know, roughly B range beer. Um, I definitely wouldn't turn it away. Um, solid, New England IPA. There are better ones out there, but definitely better than some of the the, the pseudo macro uh, beers uh, companies that I've gotten recently. All right, guys, have a great one. Take care. Have a good night.